two times. Tangled Rapunzel's story. Is this going to book? Yeah. Hi, this going to book now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Flynn tried to frighten Rapunzel into going home. He took her to the scariest place he knew, the Snuggly Duckling. It was a tavern full of thugs. The thugs glared at Rapunzel, but when she sang about her dream of seeing the lanterns, they all became friends. They, the men even showed Rapunzel and Flynn a secret passage out of the tavern. Just in time, too, the palace guards had tracked down Flynn in his stolen crown. As they were escaping, Flynn hurt his hand on a sharp rock. That night, Rapunzel wrapped her, her hair around it, and his hand was healed. Flynn was amazed. So, Re so Rapunzel explained about her magical hair. But once it's cut, she said, it loses its power. To fall, it loses its power. They sat close together by the campfire. Flynn was starting to fall for Rapunzel, and Rapunzel liked Flynn a lot too. But could she trust him? No, because he is going to cut off her magical hair. Oh no! He cuts it off with a knife. Eek. We're not going to like it. That hair is really long. Look, they clean her fit. Yeah. That's why she's just called Rapunzel. Okay. She has a lot of hair. That's why I got that pencil. Okay. Meanwhile, Mother Gothel had discovered that Rapunzel was gone. She began to search for her. The next morning was, was Rapunzel's birthday. Flynn led her to town, which was just as wonderful as, she, as the woods. She and Flynn danced and ate cake. Then they took a boat to watch the lanterns. For the best day of your life, I figure you should have a decent seat, Flynn, she Flynn said. She can't twist him. Yeah, you can't she can't trust the boy because she's going to cut off the hair. He's going to cut off her hair's knife. Why is he going to do that? Yeah, he's just going to do it. Hmm. Are those the lanterns? She's scared. She's scared. Twilight came and glowing lanterns filled the sky. Who's Twilight? Twilight is when nighttime falls, like uh, it's orange dark outside. Twilight. It turns dark outside. Cool. Really, it means the sun went down. Twilight came and glowing lanterns filled the sky. Rapunzel was so excited to see the lights that, the, that she almost tipped the boat over. I have something for you too, she told Flynn. She handed him the crown. She finally trusted him. Flynn knew what he had to do. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Flynn went ashore and tried to give the crown to the Stabbington brothers, but the thieves knocked him out. What does that mean? Then they found Rapunzel and convinced her that Flynn had given her up. A fair trade, they said. A crown for the girl with the magic hair. No, Rapunzel cried. She, she tried to run away, but she couldn't. Thump, crash. Mother Gothel rushed in. She res rescued Rapunzel from the thieves. She didn't tell Rapunzel she'd told the brothers to try to capture her in the first place. So Why? She's sneaky. Look! Oh no. That's not a good haircut. And look, she's mad. Oh yeah. Mother Gothel and Rapunzel returned to the tower, but Rapunzel couldn't stop thinking of everything she'd seen. Suddenly all the pieces fell into place. I'm the lost princess, she realized. Mother Gothel froze. It was you, Rapunzel said bitterly. I should have been hiding from you. Instantly, Mother Gothel stopped pretending to be nice. She tied up Rapunzel. Soon, Flynn came to the tower looking for Rapunzel. Mother Gothel hurt him. Rapunzel knew she could heal Flynn with her hair. I'll stay with you, she promised Mother Gothel. Just let me save him. Swear it, Mother Gothel said, and Rapunzel did. Flynn refused to let Mother Gothel win, grabbing a strand, a sh excuse me, a shard. Oh, it's a shard, it's not even a knife. It's a knife. It's just a piece of glass. From a broken mirror, he sliced off Rapunzel's hair. Immediately, immediately it turned brown. Oh no. 
What have you done, Mother and Gothel Shriek? And then he'll shriek. tell Tootsie Gwen to come. He'll be your parents. Mm -hmm. As Rapunzel's hair lost its power, yeah. Mother Gothel became very, very old. Soon she was gone. Rapunzel held Flynn tight. Without her hair, she couldn't heal him. He slipped away. A single tear fell from her face. It landed on Flynn and began to glow. His eyes opened. The magic in her tear had saved him. At the end, saved. Overjoyed, Rapunzel and Flynn soon went to the palace. Rapunzel was welcomed by the king and queen, her real mother and father. They couldn't have been happier to have their daughter back. She wasn't the baby they'd lost anymore, but she was a lovely princess. And although Rapunzel's hair was no longer magical, she was still the most enchanting girl Flynn had ever met. She's a real princess. Yeah. I'm, I'm princess. I'm a Rapunzel now. What? Mm, You're going to be a princess? I'm not telling you a secret. No, you're not going to tell us But I want to tell you something. Did you know I'm a Rapunzel? What? I did. Did you know I'm a Rapunzel? Oh, I didn't know. That's cool.